dear friends welcome to oil and gas training operation of uh, process equipments part 2 uh, last video was also on operation of uh, process equipment it was part 1 so in this video we are discussing some advanced uh, advanced uh, uh information and the knowledge of uh, operation of uh, process equipment safely and efficiently uh, welcome to this video monitor and control equipment item or process operators uh, must be able to monitor critical operating parameters and equipment functions to ensure that environmental impact is minimized and the plant is safe at all times operators must be able to adjust the process to keep to production schedule and ensure the quality of product let us review what are the various monitoring checks for a production production process operations to run smoothly safely and efficiently monitoring checks routine checks and careful monitoring of equipment is required to identify equipment or process problems in early stages so that corrective action can be taken to prevent trips shutdowns costly equipment failure or off spec product the result of routine checks must be recorded in logs and other records so that an equipment or process history is developed which can be used to identify trends leading to equipment failure or process trips these check must be done at a frequency that is laid down in the standard operating procedures minimizing impact on safety health and environment to minimize the impact on health safety and the environment an operator must be able to identify and diagnose any situation that threatens health safety or the environment plan corrective action so that no hasty responses are made which could make the situation more worse implement the corrective action watch responses make corrections if there if the responses are not what is expected communicate with the occupational safety and occupational health and safety representatives as required to comply with the environmental and safety regulations uh, carry out uh, maintenance procedures operators need to be able to check equipment operation to allow preventive maintenance to be scheduled and to ensure that breakdown maintenance carried out in a safe and timely manner this section covers monitoring equipment isolating and testing equipment carrying out minor maintenance and restarting equipment to readiness after maintenance procedures two types of maintenance are one is preventive maintenance which servicing is carried out to prevent equipment breakdown to breakdown maintenance where maintenance is carried out to repair equipment after a breakdown if equipment problems are detected in early stages action can be taken to prevent or minimize costly equipment breakdowns this early warning signs may be a sudden deviation from normal operating condition as noted on the routine reading sheet indicated or field or control room instrument uh, alarms abnormal smell or sound from equipment abnormal vibration from equipment equipment feels hotter than normal used with care to prevent burn and injuries leaking process fluid or utility streams like cooling water or lubricating oil etc look at the picture and it is clearly to identify a abnormality of any process equipment in that way smell sight feel and sound can identify equipment faults in the early stages now 
let us discuss on uh, equipment isolation before uh, any maintenance is carried out on process equipment all relevant work permits must be obtained and the following must be isolated from electrical supply to prevent electrical shock or electrical hazard or electrical uh, danger or uh, mechanical movement to prevent a physical injury or uh, flow line in or out of the equipment to prevent the spills or chemical injury equipment must be isolated before maintenance or vessel entry as required by work permits or confined space entry permit electrical isolation any process equipment that has an electrical connection must be electrically isolated before maintenance by a suitably qualified technician by opening the circuit breaker or removing a fuse at the electrical substation attaching a lock and a danger tag to the circuit breaker for uh, or fuse mechanical isolation if the movement of any mechanical device could cause injury during maintenance work the mechanical device must be securely restrained to prevent the movement chains and locks are commonly used to prevent the accidental opening of valves that are used for isolation purpose isolation of equipment flow line if a vessel or flow lines are to be opened the flow lines into and out of the equipment must be isolated using physical means by removing uh, spool pieces or valves then inserting full pressure uh, spades between flanges or full pressure blanks into on to the end of the open flanges uh, double block and bleed where two positive uh, closing block valves are closed and a bleed valve opened between the block valves to depressurize and drain the line isolations carried out in a piece of equipment should be listed and signed for on an appropriate isolation list uh, please review this uh, attached uh, picture so where is the spade between flanges and uh, how the block and bleed valve concept is uh, connected in uh, uh, this picture so this is for the standard practices for uh, isolation purpose uh, isolation of a vessel isolation for confined space entry entering a confined space is a hazardous operation which requires isolating the vessel to prevent explosions due to opening pressurized vessels suffocation due to working in a confined space atmosphere which is toxic or oxygen deficient injuries due to liquids or gas leaking into the confined space through flow lines fire or explosions due to leakage of combustible gas or liquid injuries due to remnants of chemicals or gas left inside the vessel isolation of a vessel for confined space and requires depressurization and draining of the vessel purging and cooling of the vessel the use of spades or blanks to isolate flow lines to and from the vessel cleaning to remove dangerous chemical from inside the vessel removal of radiation sources from the vessel another important point to discuss is shutdown of various equipment or a unit shutdown equipment equipment must be shut down between production runs for maintenance or an in, an in an emergency operators must be able to take appropriate action to shut down and or change over equipment during normal operation or in an emergency after shut down the operator must be able to carry out all necessary checks to prepare for restart a types of shut down an equipment item is normally shut down manually when no longer required for duty for inspection or for maintenance a shut down can also occur in an emergency when an emergency shut down button is pressed a trip is activated by an automatic shut down system when an item of equipment is to be manually shut down the type of shut down must be selected which will cause minimum of uh, disruption of production minimum risk of damage of equipment to equipment 
the type of shutdown selected could be item shutdown maintenance shutdown unit shutdown operations or total shutdown and emergency shutdown item shutdown an item shutdown will shut down only the equipment item without uh, shutting down the entire process or plant in some cases two equipment items are connected in parallel to prevent the need of a process shutdown maintenance shutdown a maintenance shutdown will consist of shutting down then fully isolating draining and purging an equipment item to make it safe for maintenance work unit shutdown a unit shutdown will shut down only the process unit in the in a plant but will not shut down the entire plant many units will feed to storage tank so that the downstream process can take their feed from the storage and continue to operate when another unit is offline a total shutdown a total shutdown will shut down the an entire plant uh, basically to save the plant to protect the plant from hazardous condition or abnormality we recommend or we do process people will do or operation philosophy will do uh, different type of shutdown total shutdown so one is emergency shutdown an emergency shutdown due to fire major spills or gas release will shut down an equipment item as quickly as possible then depressurize and drain the equipment at least and lanes to leave them in a in the safest possible condition emergency shutdown can create extra wear and tear on machinery as the shutdown time is shorter than for normal shutdown uh, whichever shutdown is required the process as laid down in the standard operating procedures must be followed shutdown warnings right a shutdown uh, where a shutdown will affect upstream or downstream process uh, advance uh, warning must be given to appropriate personnel to allow them to prepare for and react to or changing conditions this would be generally include supplies of utility and feed stock and the receiving of product streams change over of equipment equipment items such as heat exchangers pumps and filters are often installed in parallel where one equipment item is on duty uh, while the other is on standby filters are changed over when differential pressure across the filter reaches at a, a preset high level heat exchangers may be changed over if one is detected as having leaking tubes causing contamination of a process stream pumps are changed uh, over after a preset time is required or preset time period to even even out wear or if one fails when in service uh, please review the picture uh, given by here so this is a change over method ensures that the flow is not stopped at least one unit it is online at all times this is a picture of a pump pump change over so duty pump is there standby pump is there suction valves are there and discharge valves are there so if you are getting an experience in your plant so just to understand how a change over of a pump procedure change over is taking place thanks for uh, watching this video uh, definitely we will come back with uh, another video soon for uh, another area of uh, oil and gas operation please subscribe this channel please like this channel please comment this channel for uh, timely updates and information and also forward to your friends and uh, colleagues uh, those who are working in oil and gas and uh, let uh, let us learn and understand more and more about uh, oil and gas training we have started online training in advanced modules like on nominal payment please contact me hamsa baba uh, my number is providing here also we are providing various online trainings to various clients like oil and gas operations so you will get more information on my email it is hamsababa@gmail.com thanks for watching uh, definitely we will meet again thank you thank you